Hi, it's Jerry Ojinski. I'm a New York medical malpractice and personal injury trial lawyer, and today's video tip explains how you handle a medical malpractice case on your own in New York. It's actually pretty simple. First thing you have to do is evaluate whether or not you have a basis for a case. Well, how do you do that? Well, you actually have to get an expert to confirm after reviewing all of your records that you have a basis for a case. Well, you may ask, well, what do I have to have the expert look at? Well, not just some of your records, but all of your records for years before what you think was done wrong, all the way up to the present time. And what do they look for? They look to see whether there were any departures from good and accepted practice. Well, how do they do that? Well, there's specific questions that you have to ask the expert after they've reviewed all the records. And then you have to ask the expert whether or not that departure from good and accepted care was a substantial factor in causing and bringing about your injury. And then the expert has to determine whether your injuries are significant and are permanent. So once you have a confirmation from the expert that you have a valid basis to proceed, then the next step is, is pretty procedural. And so here's basically what you need to know. And again, this is not intended as legal advice. It's simply to explain the process. After you have gotten confirmation, you must now prepare a set of papers known as a summons and complaint. Those are the papers that you need to get started for the lawsuit. And there are a whole bunch of technical requirements that you have to have. Once you've prepared those documents, you have to then take them and deliver them to the people that you are suing. That's known as serving the papers. Well, before you can actually serve them, after you've prepared that document, you have to go into court and purchase something called an index number. That's a number so the court knows that your case is associated with this particular number. And then you have a specific time limit in which to deliver those papers to the people you have sued. What happens next? Well, then you have to wait for the lawyers to answer. There's a specific time in which they have to answer in something in a document known as an answer. So this just shows you the process by which most attorneys will go through in order to get your case evaluated and get it started in the litigation process. And there's a lot more stuff to go through, but the bottom line is, can you do this yourself? The answer is yes, you can. Should you do it yourself? My recommendation after 22 years in practice is absolutely not. There are lots of rules, there are lots of requirements, there are lots of pitfalls that people who are not familiar with this will fall into. And getting out of it will be extremely difficult, if not impossible. So if you have questions, what I want you to do is to pick up the phone and call me. I can answer your legal questions. You can reach me at 516-487-8207 or by email at lawmed10 yahoo.com. I'm Jerry Ojinski here in New York. Thanks for watching.